Hello and welcome to Course Unpack, where we unlock the different degree programs here in the Philippines. I am your host, Max Bonson, and today we have Martina, who will be talking about another degree program in the University of the Philippines in Diliman. So to start, let's start with the introduction. Martina, give us your name, your preferred pronouns, other information that you want to share, uh, your degree program and university, and how you want to be addressed. Okay, hi everyone. So I'm Martina Heron, but my friends call me Marts. And my preferred pronouns are she and her. I just finished my second year in BS Statistics in UP Diliman. Okay, Marts. So to start, describe your degree program in two to three sentences. Okay. So statistics is the branch of science that deals with the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. So our degree program focuses not just on making calculations or solving math problems, but also programming and writing for research. Okay, so what do you do in BS Stat and describe your typical day as a Stat student? Mm, our program generally teaches us uh, different ways to deal with and understand data. So this quarantine, most of my day is taken up uh, with studying stat, so watching lecture videos, doing problem sets, and also honing my programming skills. How about nung face-to-face -face pa? How was your day-to-day -day life? Nung face-to-face -face pa kasi, I was still a freshman nun. So I mostly just had GEs. So I was uh, taking notes, going around different buildings, and hanging in the libraries with my friends. So this quarantine, paano yung workload nyo? Like, how do you learn? Mga exams ba? Mga modules? Hmm. This quarantine, mostly stat and math yung inaral ko ngayon, as opposed to dati na GEs lang. So, um, yung teaching processes right now are mostly asynchronous. I hardly attended any synchronous classes kasi none of my profs required it naman. So the way that I learned personally is I mostly just read the course notes, try to answer things on my own, and also watch the lecture videos. Okay, so my next question for you is, does your degree program have a home org? And if yes, are you part of it? And how does it help you as a student? I think merong dalawa yatang stat home orgs. Am I right pa? Yep, you got that. So we have two orgs. The first of... um. The first one I'm going to talk about is StatSoc, uh, UP Statistical Society. Uh, it's the org that I'm a part of. And then the other org is UP Variates. Um, in my org, StatSoc, it's very helpful to me personally because they're like my support system. Aside from being an, an academic org, which like helps with tutorials or provides me school uh, studying materials, they're also very nice people because the community is very tightly knit. So I'm always um, in our Discord server, and we're usually there just to study tambay or like for game nights, th that sort of thing. Mm. So it serves both as an academic support, pati ano na rin, no? moral support for you. Mm, definitely. Okay, in relation to STAT, how is it different from other similar programs such as, siguro at the top of my mind in UP, BS Math, and is SLIS, ano? similar ba ganun? How is it similar and how is it different? Hmm, actually, I haven't really read into their, um, into their course outlines, their curri curriculum guides. So, for what I think, based on um, my friends who also take those classes, mostly more on computation sila. And um, may mga ap applied sides then where a lot of it is like uh, proving though we also have that in stat and um, more on problem sets compared mm. to statistics it's different because it's really divided into like three things um first is the math stat side na poor solving talaga and then after that we have programming which really focuses on how we can use stat in uh, business or in everyday life or in whatever field or discipline and then the other one is research writing mm. so okay. i would say that we're different because um we're becoming applied sides sa stat uh, more on application talaga yung stat no more on data analytics talaga 
So mm-hmm. you're from UP Diliman Stat. Mm-hmm. What do you think is the edge of UPD's stat program compared to other universities? Hmm. I haven't really taken the time to compare them like in detail. But what I think is the edge of UPD stat is that we have a lot of brilliant professors like in both math and stat. Like a lot of them who work with the COVID statistics um, are also professors here in math and stat. So what's nice about it is when they teach, they, they go through their um, they go through their assigned lessons, but they're also able to share their experiences in their own fields because they also have other work aside from being professors in UP Diliman. Mm-hmm. So what do you like about UPD's stat program? Mm, nga, for me, I would say the one thing I really like is its professors. So far this pandemic, they've been really compassionate as in ina just nila yung mga deadlines and um, they really try to use different means of teaching to adjust to our learning styles. And they don't just focus on making us understand the lesson. They're also trying to help us with our holistic development. <laughs> so they try to introduce us to real life applications and their personal experiences in STAT. Ako din personally, I have good experiences with STAT profs. Kasi, oh. um, kailangan kasi mag-take ng GEs for ano, for, ay kailangan mag-take ng, ng STAT for GE and yung prof ko, si Sir Roy. Hi Sir, kung nanonood ka na ito. Ah. Very good. Tapos, yeah, he's, yeah. Ano din, he's a product then of of the School of Statistics ng UP. So as you can see, it's a, it's a good, ano talaga, it's a good network and parang nagiging mentor ni Legis that isa in the school of stat. And magaling talaga sila magturo, personally. Okay, so how do you apply your degree program in your day-to-day life? For example, sa mga passion projects mo. I guess we all know the application of stats naman in in the field. Pero for your everyday life, like how do you apply what you learn? Mm, for me, how I apply with what I learn isn't necessarily like the computations or the formulas. Mm. It's more of having a sense of data literacy mm. because it's one thing to be able to solve a problem, but it's another thing to be able to understand why it became like that and how you're able to use those kinds of results. Uh, now more than ever, stat is relevant in our day-to-day li- lives like COVID statistics or our grades or like YouTube or our sp- personal social media analytics. So to be able to make the most of that by understanding the concepts behind it, that's how I use that in my day-to-day life. Uh, especially right now na data is being used for misinformation and disinformation. Mm. I think it's very important to at least have that sense of ano, data literacy. So that's nice to hear. So my next question for you is, what common misconceptions do people have about BS Act? I can think of two at the top of my head. Mm. So the first misconception, and it's like the barrier that stops people from taking stat, is the assumption na kailan magaling ka sa stat or sa math or sa research ng high school. And I think that um it's I think that it's a problem that people assume that because um stat really teaches you everything that you need to know um supposedly during college. And like for me, for example, bag- ko si math no high school. <laughs> Pero now I'm doing really well in my math and stat classes. Because like I said kanina, the math and stat props are really good. And then the second misconception I can think of is ayun, more on solving and calculation, like plug plug ka lang sa formula or solve lang ng problem sets. When actually um stat as a degree program already focuses on a lot of applications, like even from the first year. Okay. So, sa UPBS stat lang yung in-offer, no? Meron bang other programs na in-offer ang School of Stat? Like Actuarial Science or stat lang talaga? Um, for bachelor's degree, alam ko BS stat lang yung uh, UP School of Statistics. Mm-hmm. Pero aside from that, we have Master of Science in Statistics. Uh, Master of Masters of Statistics, I don't really know the difference. <laughs> and then there's also like a, a data analytics course, professional masters in data analytics. Mm. So I hope to take that in the future. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay. Now speaking of ano, speaking of futures, ano yung mga career paths na available to stat graduates? I'm really excited for this kasi I'm a business student and palaging sinasabi namin na data is the future of data is the future of business kanya na data analytics is very important for business students then kasi we have to understand what those data mean. So what career paths are available to to stat graduates? Marami actually. Like, if you have a specific interest outside of statistics, you can still use your degree towards that. So, um, there are the obvious ones like actuary, data scientist, or data analyst, and like research associates. Or you can also go into more specialized fields like biostat, business intelligence, or econom- econometrics. Mm-hmm. Ikaw, personally, what, where do you see yourself in those fields? Or hindi mo pa napag-iisipan? Uh, personally, hopefully, I'd like to do data science in the future. Hmm. Okay. So, ang bilis nating natapos. Do you have any advice to young people who want to pursue this degree program? Uh, ayun, first, like I said kanina sa, assum- sa assumptions about stat, uh, my advice is that it's okay if you're not good at math or stat or research in high school. Because as long as you're really driven, and as long as you have a sense of problem solving, like wanting to solve problems uh, using data, you can certainly go into statistics. So okay lang kahit ano, kahit hindi ako ganun kagaling ng high school. Okay, I think that's a very ano, that's a very good advice. So don't don't be scared of taking BS stat and just reach for it. Okay. I have another advice din in go, general. Go, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi it also seems like when I entered college, a lot of people were shocked na kaya ako nag-take ng blank degree kasi ayoko sa math. Tapos yun pala, may math, may mm. math din ngayon. So, <laughs> my next advice is math is really inescapable. Like, one way or another, you'll have tama, to take tama. it. <laughs> Pero, um, if you want to avoid that kind of situation, I really suggest now when you're applying for a course, you should look at the specific subjects that mm. you'll take under it. Like you can easily Google, for example, uh, for example, you want to take, um, let's say, biology and you, do, and you don't want to take that much math, you should go to whatever um, their site is. For example, type UPD biology course guide and then you'll be able to see all the subjects and you should thoroughly read that first before applying. Yep, I I get that question a lot here sa YouTube channel ko na marami po bang math sa ganito or ano po yung mga subject na tinitake. And honestly guys, those questions are answerable by one Google search. <laughs> Usually mga, yung mga curriculum naman ng mga subjects na to, it's available online and you can search it. And speaking of this, um, where can they find out more about your degree program? So possibly yung website ng stat. Ano yung website nila? Um, this, the UP School of Statistics Student Council has their own website. It's hmm. called ERO, e-roho.com. And that's where they post a lot of things that are useful to stat majors and those who are interested, like our course guide and even some materials on the subjects itself. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put that sa description box na lang. And yung mga orgs naman ng UPD stat, you can also follow them, which... Uh, lalagay ko na lang din sa description box yung mga links nila. Okay, thank you, Mart. So, for this part, do you want to plug any social media platforms or passion projects that you're currently working on? Okay lang namin uh, so, kung wala. <laughs> so, ayun, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Chicken Martinara. And you can also hit me up there because I also do services for thesis consultation for statistical analysis and methodology. And I really recommend na if you have to do your thesis, you consult your methodology sa proposal pa lang. Kasi it's, like, in my experience, it's a big problem na people think na you just plug in the data into a stat test and then you'll get your answers, which is not supposed to be. So, ayun. And then also, I want to say na get vaccinated if you can, register to vote, and that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Marts. I really had fun talking about your degree program and learning more about BS Stat. Sana marami ding natutunan yung mga audience natin today. And if you have more questions about this degree program, you can comment it down below. And if you want to see other degree programs that we haven't tackled yet, you can also comment it down below. And I'll try my best to find a guest who can talk about this their degree program. So that's it for this episode and see you on the next one. Bye-bye!